Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have our first guest with us in the studio. Today we're looking at affordable housing options in Nigeria. We know that housing is one of the biggest problems that young people, young as well as old, experience in Nigeria. And joining us to discuss this is a seasoned expert in this area. His name is Tunde Balogun and he's the CEO of Rent Small Small. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks Welcome, for Tunde. Me. Thanks for having me. I think we should just hit, you know, we should dive into the, into the topic first of all. Let's look at what are some of the problems that people experience. You're in the housing department, you know, that's what you do, the housing sector. And we know that many people oftentimes complain about the drama with landlords and with agents. So what would you say from your perspective, from where you stand, are the most common problems of housing in Nigeria? Okay, um, the industry is quite divided uh, from the landlord side, from the tenant side. I mean, I would speak from the tenant side because there's huge demand. Please speak for um, us. We are not yet landlords. <laughs> Um, you know, especially a lot, of, a lot of young people coming into the market right now, getting their first job and then still having to travel six hours, you mm -hmm. know, from home to work every day. So that's a major challenge um, for young people. Um, but speaking into the industry um, directly, you think of um, the, the cost of even, even getting a property. You have to pay agency fee, you have to pay legal fee, and the property itself, um, they ask for upfront payments. That's the, age, um, the landlord's. And the agents, you know, the um, all of the, you know, things they ask for, basically, it just makes it very hard for a young person to get a property or to Nigerians in general to get a property. You know, when I moved back to Nigeria in 2015, and um, I haven't lived overseas for over a decade, and I was going to get my own property, and I saw the challenges, even to go around looking for property, the inconvenience that I experienced was a shocker for me. And um, I just knew that I wanted to do something about it. Yes, my background is in real estate. Um, I ran a successful real estate company before I moved back to Nigeria. And I wanted to build on what I, I, I did outside of Nigeria. But it wasn't what I, 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 I'm doing right now. Okay. But when I saw the challenge and the, you know, the, uh, all, all, all the things that are not going right on well in the industry, I just knew that this is it. I needed to do something about it. And um, that's what Rent Once More is all about right now. So we are using technology uh, to, to uh, transform the rental space, the rental market, um, by allowing young people, um, Nigerians in general, um, starting with Lagos, to pay their rent flexibly, monthly, quarterly, biannually. Um, that flexibility is what we've brought in, and um, we, we're doing that right now. Okay, so I'm happy you mentioned um, the issue of people uh, intending tenants, yes. or hopefully uh, property owners, having issues. There's always been nothing about Nigerian tenants complaining of lawyer fees they have to pay for yeah. and a lot of the times they feel that it's even the agency fee and everything to pay off for the lawyers before they even get the apartment yeah. that is even making the rent heavier. Yes. So now, how is rent small small mm -hmm. um, better than the average service they would get if they have to use an average agent or a lawyer from an ordinary property? What are the things that they should actually look out for and why should they, you know, come for rent small small instead of just run into the regular things they would enjoy or endure, mm -hmm. basically, in okay. Nigeria. So um, there are cases, you, I'm sure you guys have read, like where people pay agents and at the end of the day they didn't even get the property, yeah. apart from all the um, troubles they went through. But then, on the other side of it is that the, the level of inconvenience, and when we talk about convenience now, um, the, the inconvenience now, having to pay a year up front, and in some cases, two years up front. That is insane, really, for me. I, for, I was thinking, how can young people survive in a country like this? You know, where, you know, um, around the world, the drivers of the economy are young people. And Nigeria has so much young people. So um, bringing it down, rent more, more, what we've been able to do is that create that convenience and then also add that affordability to it. And that convenience is people should be able to, as they're earning, they should be able to pay their rent. You know, people that live, for that, a lot of people live with aunties, with uncle, with friends, you know, because they are just moving into the city. Urbanization growth in Nigeria is like 8 million a mm. year. Urbanization. So think, and Lagos has majority of that. So all these people, they live inconveniently. Some people will have to come home in the evening and they have to wait for the person that they are living with before they can access the place they are staying. Think of how that is affecting productivity in Nigeria. Think of how that is affecting their quality of of livelihood in Nigeria. So with rent more small, that convenience, you, as you're earning, you'll be able to measure how, can, how much of my rent can I, can I pay 
mm. uh, how much of my earning rather can I can go into my rent rather than taking loan, getting money here and there to Boring. pay, borrowing, which a lot of people do. And by doing that, by the time the rent is due for the next year, they haven't even paid the, 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 the last the rent. Exactly. Year. And what happened is that default. And that's why Lagos has about 71% default rate. You know, so on the landlord side also, what we've done is basically put a lot of um, things in place to assure them that, you know, um, they will get their rent as well. We have rent insurance uh, through AXA Mansard. Um, we have, um, we have um, standing order, which we put in place, which allows um, the rent to be taken out of this um, tenants or prospective tenants. Um, salary accounts All right. on a monthly let's, basis. Let's look at how warm and receptive Nigerians are to technology. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, when, when we're trying to, we're playing catch up when it comes to looking at what the other countries are doing. I mean, yeah. you lived abroad for years and yeah. you see how things are being done here. Come on to register for PVC. You have to queue from morning till night and you still might not get your PVC. We're not even open to the idea of doing these things online. Yeah. So how would you say from your perspective, Nigerians have been warm and receptive to the idea of solving housing problems using technology? Okay, when there is huge demand for a product, you know, housing as it is, it's one of the basic human needs, shelter, clothing, and food, right? So people, I mean, yes, we, we talk about the high, the, um, how much Niger Nigerians are exposed to technology, but that is growing significantly. A lot of people now are more technological savvy than, bef than previous years. So um, with Rent Small Small, we've also create, made, made our um, technology very user-friendly. And by what we've done with that is, you know, tenants can easily or prospective uh, users can go on our platform, sign up, find the property they want from um, ranges from the price that's better suit them. And then by doing that, they can submit their verification form also online and make payments online right. and be able to move in into the property within 48 hours. I'm very excited at the idea that we're having young people doing amazing things. A few days ago, we had the co-founder of Piggy Bank talking about solving saving and investment problems through technology. And now we have with us Tunde Balogun, who has decided to also solve housing problems using technology. We're hoping that more and more people will not only jump on ideas like this, but also be willing to invest in ideas like this. How can people follow you on social media? Um, Rent Once More is our official uh, handle, and my personal handle is Tunde Balogun underscore. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.